Hello, my name is Bella, and for the site that is situated between Euclid Ave and 18th Street, I want to create an engaging and playful space for all users to connect to the major part of campus. With these goals in mind, Ripple Park was created. For starters, the site is in a great location. It's adjacent to some of the most bustling spots on campus, including the Case Building, the newly renovated Image Music Building, the University Club, and the UMC. Not to mention, the site is right next to a very important transit stop. As I analyze the site, I notice that this area has a lot of foot traffic cutting through the site, but nobody lingers in this area. This provides a perfect opportunity to turn the space into a place that people can stay and hang out and enjoy. As I did further analysis, I also realized that the site has a high volume of noise from the surrounding streets, especially from buses that pass by, which create an overwhelming experience for users. Lastly, there is a very vital bus stop in this area. However, there is no bus shelter to provide users protection from the elements. And as a student who has used this bus stop very often, this has been an issue that definitely needs a remedy. From my site analysis, it became important for me to create a site that will connect users to the area, provide a transit shelter, while also incorporating playful structures that can act as a buffer for some noise. So here you can see my plan and I will get um, further into my design and program. So I have created an informal amphitheater that can be used as a gathering space to get users, users to linger within the site, which can also double as a small performance area for the image music building. The amphitheater features planter boxes with attached seating to encourage users to stay in the site rather than just pass through it. There will also be a lawn area for seating within the amphitheater to give users a variety of use of the space. The amphitheater also will feature a playful art installation in the center, which could help connect the art museum that is close by to the site. There will also be land art structures to give users another space to sit as well as encourage playfulness while creating a buffer of noise. The site will also include a transit shelter that of, as of now, the site is lacking. This will encourage more use of the site while people wait for transportation, as well as provide users a more comfortable bus stop that can be used better all year round. Lastly, there will be a native pollinator garden to decrease permeable surfaces and introduce some much needed ecology into the site. This pollinator garden will include wine cup perennials, giant goldenrods, French sage, and gay feather. The amphitheater, the land art play structures, the transit shelter and the pollinator garden all have a similar pattern that reflects a ripple effect. And here you can see my perspective is just a little bit better view of what the site will look like. So here you can see the transit shelter, the art installation in the center of the amphitheater, as well as these planter boxes with seating um, and this pollinator garden. I've also introduced some new um, trees into the site um, which you can see here, they kind of create a path into the sites. Um, and then there's also some more trees by these land art play structures. And here you can just see my sections a little bit better understanding of um, the seating with the planter boxes as well as the land art play structures and how they function. So in all, I believe that these um, additions to the site can be a great way to encourage connections between the site and the major campus, as well as add a playful nature. Thank you.